Murray. Thank you for the opportunity for Barnet to talk to you. You've been what are you doing now that you have retired from international and first class football? At this point, I'm saying I must say thank you, yeah, George Barnacle, for this interview. At this state in my at this state now in my in, in my life now, I'm involved with cricket still. I'm involved with the youths. I'm involved working in the Ministry of Sports. You know, coaching with the elite cricketers. The, the cricketers that can make a step forward and a step to the higher level. That is, that is guys like the Preston Maxine and the Josh Thomas and those guys. And also, I have my own cricket academy with the kids, where, whereby I'm, I'm really working on that, on that one so that I can get the kids you know, to move from one stage to a different, to a different, to a different stage. Do you know when you look at the game today, what is missing from cricket in the Caribbean? In general, well, to be honest with you, I think the love for the game. I don't, I don't think there's much love or much passion for the game. I think the, the guys play, but I don't think they really, really, really love what they do. I think that is that is what is missing and missing right now. And after ten years of the Junior Mori Cricket Academy, what impact have you been able to make on the younger upcoming players? Well, I think I think I, I made I made some impact. I made some inroads. I think some of the some of the kids have moved on to the grade under fifteen. Some of them have moved on to women Island under fifteen, and and to me that is that is my joy to see them move from one stage to a different stage, and hope hopefully in the future to see them moving on to Grenada senior team, women Island senior team, and then on to the big picture, the West Indies cricket team. How many players would have passed through the academy over the last ten years? Well, it's 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 more than at least presently it's more than it's, it's more than forty, you know, and at least it, it it keep going all the time, and we probably are more than fifty on the stage right now, you know, kids are very young, I'm taking from a tender age, probably from three years old, and and nurture them in, 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 into into some good cricketers. What would you consider your greatest achievement over the last ten years? Well, at least producing at least producing cricketers, producing young kids to represent Grenada on the 15 level and and they went on to represent two and they were on the 15 level also. So I think that is to me that is my main, my main achievement. You know, I want to see the kids go further and further and further at least even reach as far as I, I reach my career. And who was your brightest spot in terms of player to date? Well at least my first my first my first student at least Jilani George. He, he was the first one I made really made a big show. He was uh, the one I started with first, you know, and being in Tantin, on, on both of us alone, you know, we went on to play for under 15, we under 15, and then we went on to play for under 15 with Adams. You, I want to go back a bit. You mentioned that there's a, a lack of passion, that there's a lack of passion for the game. What's suppressing the passion in your view? Well, at least, uh, to be honest with you, I think probably I don't want to say I don't I don't want to say the, the finances behind it or, or, or whatever. But I think you know in my time playing with the likes of the, the Ambrose, the Walter, and those guys, I think you know at least the, the finances wasn't as big as what it is now. There the wasn't that much opportunities playing before. In our time, we just had the, 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 the Women Islands team, and then we went on the Paper West Indies. There was nothing like T20, you know, all those things happened with people just jump from here today and, and and make a lot of income but i think i think that i think that could be a problem and i think it's not really a problem problem but to me it is a problem in the sense that the guy gets play for the love of the money you know and, and they're not really playing you know for that for that passion in the west indies because i think cricket is something that keeps us together in the west indies and when we are not winning i think we tend to we tend to get, to get frustrated but how do you just, um, explain the lack of passion among the local level where already come out again is it a com competent sport um, the internet is just not interested family is not pushing children children no longer want to sweat what is it can you well, say to be honest with you to be honest with you I, 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 don't know, I, I don't think children at least you know like we you know, you know what time we're not used to be over there playing all the time but I think times are different now there are a lot of technology over there there's a lot of phones a lot of, food, a lot of iPad, a lot a lot of things that kind of distract the children you know, from getting out there and, and playing the sport and, 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 and do it with, a, with that kind of passion. So I just hope probably as, as time goes on, I probably 
they can see the, the benefit of playing cricket and, 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 and it's a sport right now that can change your life instantly. Even though they're not playing for the money per se, the passion one would think would be heightened by what is available. You have lots more cricket being played, lots more money being paid, and lots more opportunities. So why is it that more of our young people are not really rising to the level? But I don't think we I don't think we play enough cricket. You know, for instance, I don't think we're not playing enough cricket in, in, in the Caribbean on a whole. But we look at our first class season is is is, is, is so short. We play probably ten games and after that nothing much happens again, you know. You know, so Something that at least probably the different the different association probably have to come together and probably do things have to get in the schools where I think we we, we are lacking up the computer. Because some things you know the COVID things have changed a bit. But I think we can we can get back there, have more cricket in the schools. We can see the the, the, the like you know what time we used to play among different houses. All of things but we don't really see that anymore. So I think probably that's something we can try and get back to and, and, and do it. But at the open of this interview you said that you work with the Ministry of Sports. Yeah, I work with the Ministry of Sports. Um, isn't there? Is not part of your overall mantra to to raise the level, raise the passion, raise the interest? Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, I think. But at the present time, I'm more working. I'm not really in the schools that I used to be before. I'm mainly working with the, as I said before, the elite, elite athletes. But I think the ministry is it, it doing what they could. We normally have the independence under 15. We normally have we have cricket in the under 19s. You know, but I think because of the COVID thing, I've, I've, been, I've slowed down a bit. So I think that openly that. As time goes on and the COVID kind of way away, that we can get back to where we used to be. So you came from the local scene, you played for Grenada, you played for the Windward Islands, you played for the West Indies, you traveled. How would you regard your overall success? You know, I, I think I did a lot, at least for myself. As, as you can record in my, in my time, there was not much happening there for cricket. You know, I did not used to play a bit of soccer, I made a change and jump for the cricket. And from the time I decided to play cricket, I would just get into the West Indies level, you know, the highest level, you know, so I took on my own, I took on my own, because of my love and my passion for what I do, I took on my own, I train on my own, you know, I work very hard, you know, I do everything that I do, what it takes, you know, I wasn't waiting for any boy to, to, to help me, I just was like a horse in a blink, I guess, looking straight ahead of me, and all I could see in front of me was the West Indies cricket team, you know, so, I think my hard work paid off, you know, and, at least, I, I, had, I had some good times playing with Grenada, Play with the Women Islands and then playing with the West Indies. So I think my overall, my overall career, I think it was a good one. Probably I could have done a bit better, but I think all in all, I think I've done my part and I represent myself, my country well. As you come out every Saturday to train the kids in the academy, what is the focus? Is it technique? Is it on building strength? Is it on building character? Or is it on building on, passion? Is it on building love? What's the overall it's on, mission? It's on, it's on everything. It's, 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 a, it's, it's not only about cricket. It's about lifestyle. It's about it's, it's, it's about the way you carry yourself. It's about discipline. It's about respect. And most of all, it's about teaching the kids the, 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 the technique of the game, the basic the basic skills, and and everything. So we don't, we don't teach them cricket. We teach them overall everything, you know, the rules of the game, the laws of the game, everything we do. And I got some good some good coaching with me that, that really does a good job also in the academy. What is your overall mission for player for you? You want to see each player accomplish what? You no, know, well if you are a fast bowler or batsman or a keeper, I wanna see you doing doing what you're supposed to be doing as a fast bowler. You get your run up right, you get you know, your, 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 your style right, and you, and, and you try to hit that spot consistently. As a, as a big keeper, I want to see your, 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 your legs moving because to me, big keeper, which is my area, I think your legs is, is one of the most important area. Lateral movements as a batsman, and technical skills, the way, the way your, 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 your head is in position, your boys in line, the way, the way your back comes down, all of the basic stuff. So I think that's, that's are really the key points. When you look at West Indies cricket, we have no shortage of talent, yet we are not really accomplishing great things. Why, in your view? <laughs> as I said, I said before, and as you said, talent is we have a whole heap of talent, but I said probably is the love for the sport. You know, if I love something, I'm gonna go there and give it everything. I'm gonna go there knowing that the world is watching me. I'm gonna try my best. I'm not saying the guys are not trying, you know, but in the same breath, you know. We want to have that, that kind of killer instinct. We want to try and go out there and 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 represent ourselves and Western pretty well. But I know probably I come from a, from an old school playing with the with the with the greater guys, you know. But I think that was really our mission. We just want to represent ourselves and represent the Western pretty well. 
What would a great a West Indies, a Junior Murray cricketer, professional cricketer, look like five years from now? <laughs> well, well, <laughs> well, probably, probably trying to, to to follow my footsteps. Okay, you understand? If I'm if I'm coaching someone, I'm I'm, I'm from whatever aspect I'm trying to make them to, to be as good as I am, or probably or probably better. You know, trying to do the right thing, and I think as I said. You any part of the world, you know, and also I think those things are important not, not, not only with the skill but the, that kind of respect and discipline is, very, is also very important to the way you carry yourself and everything, you know. So I think those, those things are very important. Would you say that greatest cricket is in good hands now that you're running the academy and you you have players coming up? Is there a lot to look forward to in the future? There's a lot to look forward to, yes, at least. I won't just do this just for doing sake, I will do it to see the produce cricketers, you know. So I, I, so I think what I'm doing here now, I think, is something pretty good and I hope as time goes on it, it will benefit not only me but benefit the country on a whole so when someone graduates from the academy then we can see them representing Grenada and representing West Blue Islands and also the West Indies you know I know the business community has been out supporting you can you can you tell us about the support and what more support you like well I've been mean, getting some support from the from the beginning this is to be one of my big supporters you know, doing a property bank you know Georgia for games uh, Glenel Spring Water, Glenel Spring Water. So I think these uh, the people have been supporting me for, for for very long, over ten years now. So uh, I'm there, and hope, hope that probably we can get more on board because there's, there's always room for people to come on board to, to help to help build not junior but build the academy and and, and, and build the youngsters in the in the academy. And what what are you, what are your wish for cricket for you? Well. To see that cricket come back the way it used to be, to see uh, play more cricket in the Caribbean, to see us on a West Indies level get back to our winning ways again, you know, which is so, so something I'm watching is very painful, but I think we can get back there because we have a talent. So I hope that as time goes on, we can we can get back there and put back the Caribbean on top of world cricket again. Um, Cotley Ambrose says that essentially West Indies would not see the light, the geniuses. Um, emerging in the game as we saw before. What do you say about that? Oh well, my good buddy, you know, for he sees what he sees. But I, I, I think we can get back there. But we just got to, to, as I said, get back a love and a passion for the game again. You know, we go to represent. I know, as as we can see in the last couple of series, I think I think it's coming back slowly. As we, as we saw in the last of series against Sri Lanka, when we went to Bangladesh, I think we we'll see a difference in the guys that are trying to fight to get back the way we used to be. So I, so I wouldn't give up on those guys. I think that we have the chance and ability to get back to on top of work with it again. If, you need, if you're need, if going to make a projection on what's going to happen with South Africa coming, what would you say? How do you expect the team to perform? Well, it's going to be a good series. And I think, I think especially playing in, in St. Lucia, where I think we have one of the best teams in the Caribbean, where we really have the fast goal and attack, I think we have one of the fast teams in the Caribbean. So it's going to be a very interesting series. And I, 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 I put back my boys to, to, to put up a good show against South Africa. The T20 coming back coming to play in, 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 in the Spice I think we have a lovely look at the National Stadium. We're going to get runs, we're going to get, we're going to get wickets there. So it's going to be an interesting series. It's going to be a very testing series for us because I think, I think we need to win that series to get back to, get back to, you know, to where we used to be.